All right, folks, Donald Trump, after getting his butt kicked over the last several weeks, Cave today announcing that the uh, government shutdown is going to come to an end. That there is going to be uh, a three-week uh, continuing resolution uh, to fund the government. Now, of course, remember, it was House Speaker Nancy Pelosi who told him point blank, you are not giving a State of the Union speech unless you reopen the government. Also, today in New York, we found out as a result of air traffic controllers uh, calling in sick, grounded flights to a halt in New York and other places. Folks knew in the White House this was going to happen all across the country if this thing continued. As a result, uh, leaders of the Republican and Democratic side got together today with the White House, and they made perfectly clear there was a deal. Now, let's keep in mind, the House and the Senate have not yet voted on this deal. He could always change his mind. But as of right now, unless Ann Coulter and Rush Limbaugh and Sean Handy act a complete fool, the deal is very simple. They will have a continuing resolution, fund the federal government for the next three weeks, allow both sides to negotiate on border security. But the reality is this, Donald Trump did not get a dime for his wall by reopening the government. Hey folks, let's talk about it with our panel. Joining me is Malik Boyd, CEO, Dushuri CBD Products. Uh, we also have on the show, Long Victoria Burke, National Newspaper Publishers Association. Uh, also, Joe Madison hosts Sirius XM Radio and Derek Holly, host of Reaching America uh, On Demand Podcast. Okay, so, um, Derek, I'm going to start with you. Of course you are. <laughs> I can start with Malik. Hey, bring it on. Malik, ain't you Republican? Conservative? Uh, all that thing? Yeah. I, I can pick. But I'm going to go ahead and start with you, Derek. All right. Donald Trump got straight pimp slapped by Nancy Pelosi. Mm -hmm. No, I don't agree with that. Malik, Donald Trump got straight pimp slapped by Nancy Pelosi. Yes or no? You, no. Want me, you want me to go? You want me to? You want go, me to go ahead, Derek. No, I just don't think so, man. I, at the end of the day, the American people were the ones who got pimp slapped and lost in all of this the 800,000 federal workers. And so I think after seeing what happened today, Nancy Pelosi has softened her approach a bit, as did the president. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. Malik, go ahead. I, I, All right, so. I don't know if you saw the news, but I did. No, I saw I saw the news. And she looked like and, she had softened her approach a no, bit. No, what, what Nancy, Nancy Pelosi and had a smug look like. The president. Uh-huh. He, he, here's what we know. Yeah. The one who's acting like a jerk still is Schumer. No, no, here's what we know. Donald Trump came out and announced a three-week continuing resolution, mm -hmm. got no wall funding. Mm -hmm. This is the exact same thing the United States Senate voted on mm -hmm. 100 to 0 before there was a shutdown. Mm -hmm. The same thing. I'll agree with you. So, all right, I'll go down your, your lane. But first, yes, the American people lost in this whole thing. Yes. All right, but now let's do the narrative. Donald Trump could have used a true minority advisor in his space because they would have told him what you don't do is disrespect Big Mama at the family reunion. And what he told her was build me a wall and I'm going to use the company credit card or a family credit card and I want that all around the garden. <laughs> and if I don't, then nobody else is getting food off the grill. And Big Mama said, not only did you threaten me, but you challenged me in front of Uncle Chuck <laughs> and now I'm going to embarrass you. And so, you know, uh, Trump did get a smackdown. We, we got to be honest about it. He really did. It didn't get a wall, <laughs> didn't get any dollars. Um, and more importantly, he had to come back and go, you know what? The Super Bowl's coming up, all of these major <laughs> events. Right. America is now in survival mode. So even if you were on his side, when it's time for me to survive and take care of my family, game changer. Lauren, he got no wall money. He got no State of the Union speech. <laughs> he thought, oh, I'm the president. I can roll up in the house, mm -hmm. do what I want to do. And she's like, let me remind you, I run this. Yeah, you know We got to pass a resolution <laughs> just to allow you to give your speech. You know, yeah. you and know then what happened today with the air traffic controllers? Yeah. When, pl when flights start getting grounded, That's when then, because I'm telling you what was going to happen tomorrow. Joe Madison called for it on his show saying TSA workers, day after the Super Bowl, don't show up. Mm -hmm. Lauren. Donald Trump got embarrassed, and now he had no choice but to do this. Uh, he did get something out of it. He got the lowest approval rating in 72 <laughs> years. 
right? So he got that. He got a 37% approval, or really disapproval rating, the lowest in over 70 years. So that, that's that. I don't think he cares about the air traffic controllers. The only thing Donald Trump cares about is Donald Trump. So once we saw the state of the union get taken away, once he sees his, uh, his approval ratings go down three times in over 34 days, just ticking downward, the whole thing sort of blamed on him, that's what he cares about. It, he doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't care about the paychecks of 800,000 people. All that's nonsense. I mean, in fact, in fact, so, y'all, go ahead and play this. I, I got to play this. <laughs> uh, y'all, cue it up, please. <laughs> This unbelievably idiotic, stupid, asinine, <laughs> dumb-ass comment he made <laughs> yesterday as if we still have neighborhood grocery stores from 60 years ago. <laughs> Mr. President, you see Wilbur Ross said that he doesn't understand why federal workers need help getting food. Can, can you understand? No, I haven't, I haven't heard the statement, but I, I do understand that perhaps he should have said it differently. Uh, local people know who they are, where they for, go for groceries and everything else. And I think what Wilbur was probably trying to say is that uh, they will work along. I know banks are working along. If, if uh, you have mortgages, the mortgagees, the mortgage, uh, the folks collecting the interest and all of those things, they work along. And that's what happens in time like this. They know the people. They've been dealing with them for years. And they work along. The grocery store. Uh, and I think that's probably what Wilbur Ross uh, meant. But I haven't seen a statement now. But he's done a great job, I will tell you that. No idea what he's talking about. Joe, Joe, no, he does. He does. He does. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Joe, Joe, go ahead. Uh, Joe, I, 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 I grew up at Clint Park in Houston, and that was a grocery store called Middleton's mm -hmm. that was in Galena Park. And, and I remember you were going to Middleton's, and you might be able uh, to buy grocery stores on credit. I, Middleton's don't exist no more. You know, uh, go ahead. When, when I was growing up, we had a grocery store, Rosie's. Mm -hmm. And Rosie's would give you credit, uh, you know, your next uh, paycheck. And then when I thought about that, I said, he must be thinking about the company store, you know, that you hear about <laughs> in the coal mine uh, era. Right. But look, let, let's understand. You mentioned the fact I went on the air and I said, look, we're not going to even think about boycotting or interfering with the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Right. But they got to get out. They got to get out. 120 to 130,000 people have got to get out. So my argument and my proposal was right after the King Day, because I said, look, if you're going to celebrate the man, you got to live the message. Mm -hmm. Right. So what you do, TSA, let's target Atlanta, right. and you have a sick out, not a strike, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a sick out. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, that's what started it, to be quite candid, because only two or three days ago, the mayor of of atlanta came on uh had a news conference and said i've got to do something i've got to get these people out and then you have fourteen thousand irs folks who didn't show up mm -hmm. and then today the news about the east coast flights right. and that impact everybody I all right bottom but let me i'm going to just say <laughs> one more thing so let let's understand his problem now is going to be Ann Coulter, mm -hmm. Rush Limbaugh, and Sean Hannity, Sean Hannity Laura Ingram, yep, and, right. and Laura Ingram because they are pissed. Mm -hmm. They are pissed. But here's what he's going to do. Mark my words. Save this video. He's going to. He they won't, first of all they got to get you through the Super Bowl, right? Through this this period. He's going to then. I guarantee you declare a state of emergency and yep. the reality is and all most lawyers have said this they won't be worth the paper it's written because the on. moment he declares it they're going to go to they're going to go to the courts the right. courts are going to issue an immediate injunction and and he's going to stand looking like this here but no what he's going to say i tried mm -hmm. i tried to get this open i opened it up and it's those liberal courts and and ex court. and that's what it's going to be uh, well, we're going to no, nah. no, we're gonna no, find he out. He looks like he wins, though. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. The optics no, it doesn't. Wait a minute. He wanted, he wanted he the money like for the border winning. wall. Yeah. He didn't get the money for the border wall. That's it. It yeah. wasn't about the air traffic controllers. No. It was about the jailbreak that almost happened last night in the U.S. Senate. Mm -hmm. Watch the reporting. It's about the fact that oh, the yes. Republican U.S. Right. senators almost right. jailbreaked on him. That's about him. Yeah. That's about his ego. More he Republicans went with the, the Democratic cause. Of yeah. flying or people yeah. getting yeah, but, planes. But 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 but, 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 but
And so, the, see, the, see, again, this is where... Yeah, but it's all about his ego. No, 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 no I understand that. But, no, but what, 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 drives these what, I'm, what I'm saying, though, is if you're Republican <laughs> senators, you're getting pressure right. from constituents right. and from mayors and from governors. And so you sitting there going, look, man, we trying to roll with you, but I got to run, too. But here's, right. here's the bigger reason why. That statement that you just replayed was a class privilege statement. Oh, purely. Right? So, so yes, that Rich was... Rich white man who ain't never, who ain't never can, walked to a grocery store in his damn life. But I can go to and, the bank, even on bad credit, and still get a loan. Well, what's the same things that, that minorities can well, right? But even, even though the well, banks in America well, wouldn't give money, so that's why he well, went to the well, Russians. Well, but Wilbur... <laughs> yeah, but... It, well, I mean, look at the asinine comment that he made. Right, well, his comment was in response to the question about Wilbur. Yeah, a, but, exactly. But, 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 and, and, Wil and let me point this out. Wilbur's credit union... Mm -hmm. Charges nine percent interest on emergency loans. Right. Dude, I, 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 the other thing yeah. you have to understand too is that we had that Roger Stone story today. He wanted to step on that. I suspect, of course, he did. That his his media strategy is always to divert to something else. So you have the big announcement in the Rose Garden on right. the same day that Roger right. Stone gets raided. You know, that's the other piece. It's all about him all the time with every. Decision. But here's the deal, though. It's going to drive him crazy because the next twenty four hours, because he's going to be watching TV all day and all weekend. Right. And all it's going to be is you got punk. You lost. <laughs> Pelosi's the boss. Pelosi wears the pants in America. Okay, and it's going to yeah. drive him crazy. Yeah. And the problem is this fool may go back on this agreement. He is so narcissistic he may try that on Monday. So they, they, they well, better they, do it. They, they passed the UC in the Senate already. See, all they have to do is pass two unanimous consent. Right, but my point is, it, it ain't happen yet. But the way this fool is, It'll he happen. may try to go back and say, hell, I won't even sign that. <laughs> you want to check out Roller Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.